Happies. It's rock and roll. Hello, Capricorn. Rambling Mike here. Gonna play a little bit of tarot with you, my friends. Thanks for tuning in one more time. Appreciate your view. You know I do. Thanks for hitting that old like button while you're thinking about it, cap a cap. And always a big thank you from me to my many, many Capricorn friends that have blessed me over the years. Cappy, if you ever blessed me in any way, shape, or form, thank you so very, very much. Appreciate it all. Large or small, I do have an announcement and a quick one before I get to your tarot cards right here, Cap Cap. And that is that I got a meet and greet coming up Sunday, June 23rd. Beautiful Palm Coast, Florida. Uh, we got the beach right down the road so if you're coming you might want to bring some swimwear I mean it is Florida it's summertime anyway we're going to be holding our, our meet and greet over at uh, Bedic Moons that is our beautiful community our, our, well it is our metaphysical community center here in uh, beautiful Palm Coast uh, I put up a community post myself you can check link over there. I leave a link uh, in the comment section so you can take a look at it. I'm gonna have a DJ, some music. Got some catered food, mm, yummy. Got some wine, oh yeah. Got one-on-one -on -one tarot time with old Ramblin' Mike. Got some giveaways and a couple of raffles. Got some nice stuff to raffle off as well. Anyway. Hope to see you there, June 23rd, that's Sunday, in beautiful Palm Coast. It's rock and roll, it's rock and roll, Cappy Cap. Cappy Cap, I'm gonna be playing with the uh, Grand Lux, beautiful Grand Lux, uh, freestyle tarot with you right now. Also gonna freestyle with the Gilded, the Gilded Tarot. These can talk about homework, family, the neighbors, the kids. They can also talk about love. Got some love cards right here, Cappy. Got my favorite oracle deck, the Mystic Moon Oracle. And we're gonna top off your full spread today with a couple of major arcana from the very beautiful Starman Tarot. All that being said, let's rock and roll. Virgo, baby, it's Virgolicious. Hold it, hold it. What's going on around here? Oh, Capricorn. Why do I keep saying Virgo? thinking Virgo. Anyway, what jumped out right here, Capricorn, is Four of Cups, which can be a reevaluation card. You know, any book that you read says that these cups are empty, you know, past, present, projected future, love, empty. Um, but, you know, I mean, is this my Cappy right here, male or female? They still got hope, or, or maybe you got your eye on somebody, or maybe somebody has their eye on you. That's a, that's a nice four cups right there. Let's see what's going on, because that's that Ace of Cups, you know. That is that Ace of Cups right there. Let's see what's going on. Capricorn, Capricorn, Capricorn. What's going on around here? Capricap. -cap. Oh, well. <laughs> I see why Capricap -cap may be thinking about, uh, well, a golden cup, because... That's five wands right there. That's the tussle card. Um, karma, drama, uh, tit for tat, arguments, fighting. It's a five, it's a card about change. It's a card about change. Let's see what's going on around here. Can be leaving those old days behind right there. They, I mean, if this is your card, don't, does not seem like you're too well pleased with what's been going on these days. Anyway, let's see what's going on. Capricorn, Capricorn, give me some more on here. Give me some more on here, Capricorn. Capricorn. Oh, a 
King of Pentacles came out. This could be a Capricorn card right here. Could very well be male or female. It's my King of the World, Queen of the World. It's the catch. It's the catch. Uh huh. <laughs> oh, what the hell's going on around here, man? Uh, ten wands, ten wands off the bottom of the deck, Capricorn. You know, that's that old heavy burden, ain't it? That's that old heavy burden right there. I don't know, man. Five to a ten. Tarot only goes to ten. Uh, that's when that character throws that bundle down on the ground. And look at they got that ace of wands right there in their hand. And there's an ace of wands right here. Boom, da, da, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, 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 an ace of wands showing up right here, Capricorn. Ooh la la, man. Ooh, well, who's that? What, what's that? What, what is that? What is that? Who's that, man? Oh, an ace of wands. Oh, another ace. Another ace. Big, beautiful ace of pentacles. I mean, that's an ace of stability. If you ask me, it's a cornerstone, right? For the ten of pentacles. You know, that palace. The ten of pentacles palace. Capricorn. Ooh. ooh. Knowing your worth. I can put that with the king of the world, right? Knowing your worth. Whatever this is, man. This cycle looks like this is done. Trading it in for an Ace of Wands and an Ace of Pentacles. Possibly, I mean, we don't have to take these. But you may want to. Look what came out. Four of Wands showing up around here again in Capricorn spread this week. The old 11-11 card showing up around here. My beautiful couple dancing around the maypoles. This is my, you know, preparing for the big day. Look at your cards right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, the Hierophant again showing up around here. Didn't they show up last week? I do believe they did, man. The old four wandy looking Hierophant. Oh, wow, they got a big golden coin right there, too, I guess, huh? Wow, Capricorn, here we go, here we go, man. Somebody's getting in the boat around here. Somebody's getting in the boat around here, huh, Capricorn? <laughs> oh, somebody's getting in a boat around here in this story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least thinking about it with uh, Six Swords. Because Six Swords is a card of movement. Starts with a thought process. It is a swords card right there. It is a card of movement. Five ones to ten ones. Trading it in over here. A boat ride. Going around all those swords sticking out of the water. Going around all those sticking out of the water. And there is... Um, New, 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 new. Anyway, um, Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Hierophant. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, for a lot of you, it could be a new home, a new, a new lover, a new world. It's absolutely stunning. Leaving an old world of burden behind. Yep, pull the fool. I pulled a fool. Big Aquarius card. Aquarius, Aries, Major Arcana. It's a zero card. It's a reboot. It's a reset. It's that old case of Ra, Sera. Whatever will be, will be. <laughs> the future is ours to see. Oh, ours to see. Case of Ra, Sera. Wow, Capricorn. Oh, and a big chariot. Here we go. Yeah! Yeah! And away we go. 
on a new adventure in life, a big uh, major arcana, Cancer. It's got my yin-yang ponies on there. It's got the dark pony. It's got the light pony. It's got the four of wands. It's got gorgeous written all over it. Uh, you know, like I said, somebody's moving or moving in a new direction in life with a lover. Night of Cops. <laughs> Night of Cops. Hi, Capricorn. Here's my cop. Oh, Lordy. Or vice versa. Or vice versa. <laughs> Let's get... Ah, uh... oh, you got me giggly around here, Capricorn. Future looks right to me. Let's see what the Gilded has to say, Capricap. Let's see what the Gilded has to say. Five Wands, Ten Wands, Six Swords. Let's go. I don't know. This Four of Wands kind of looks like calling in your soulmate. Can we say that? Calling in your soulmate. Maybe it's somebody you know. Maybe it's not. I don't know. King of Pins is the king of the queen of the world. They got an Ace of Wands, an Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, Hierophant, Fool to the Chariot, and the Lover, the Love Pony. Capricorn. Capricorn. Wow. <laughs> Damn it, man. Damn it, man. That's Ten Swords. You got, you got a bunch of Tens going on over here, huh? The Ten Swords. The Ten Wands. This is a story about the ending of a very painful cycle. With the promise of a new day to dawn right here. The promise of a new day to dawn. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, four wands. Again. The happy home. Wow, the happy... Capricorn. <laughs> Get in the boat, man. Get in the boat, Capricorn. Four wands twice. Again, these, ter these decks are mirroring each other right here. About ending a very painful cycle and moving in a new direction. Wow, and a hair fat mirrored again. Um, a very spiritual energy. I mean, I like this love story over here. It looks quite spiritual. I mean, but who, who wants somebody that's not spiritual? That can be what's going on over here. This is a very spiritual energy. Very, very nice. A lot of passion. I got golden coins. I got an ace of wands. I got four wands twice. Tell me a little more right here. These, both these decks are mirroring. Let's see what we say. Oh, wow. Well, let's shake these out because there's an ending in this story right here so that we can have a new beginning. Let's shake these out, Capricorn. Out! Out, out of Capricorn's heart, out of Capricorn's spread. And then comes uh, three pentacles after that. It's a card of collaboration. It's a card of uh, building a firm foundation with somebody that's special to you and you're a special to them. Yeah, three wands. It's about the ships coming in over here. It's about a new ship, a new world, pulling up in Capricorn's port. Very nice, my Cappy Caps. Let's see what Mystic Moon Oracle has to say around here. Doubled up on the Four of Wands. Doubled up on the Hierophant. What do we got? Cappy Cap. Cappy Cap. Cappy Cap. Oh, crossroads. You may have been at a crossroads about uh, releasing yourself. Could have been at a crossroads about releasing yourself and moving in a new direction. Could have been, but I mean, this 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 ain't no crossroads card. Either is this. You pulled these two tens over here. The days of crossroads, you know, wondering if I'm going to move in a new direction. Those seem to be over. What is this about? Nostalgia showed up around here. Nostalgia showed up, Cappy Cap. Some of you, I mean, this is a four wanderers story over here. 
For some of you, you may know who this is over here. It's absolutely very blissful, very spiritual, very special. Nostalgia came out. A couple more. Cappy Cap. Cappy Cap. Oh, yeah. Contemplation. Wow. Uh, may have been over here for a minute. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the crossroads. I don't know, man. Ten swords and ten wands say. Uh, <laughs> and three swords say that, you know. Because uh, that looks like the fool about to jump off the cliff right there, don't it, Capricorn? <laughs> now it can be vice versa as well. Uh, we, you know, this is jumping off the cliff right there. Here we go, here we go. Give me a couple more for Capricorn, please. Wow. Soulmate came out. Let's put that over here, huh? All these beautiful cards over here. Oh, my Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh. Guiding Light. Oh, look. Guiding Light. Recognition. Oh, we got a four wanting story over here, man. That we do. Forgiveness and child. Oh. Inner child work. Shadow work. It's very interesting right there. I don't know. I'm going to go with this. Fifth dimension. Fifth dimension. Recognition. Guide. Soulmate. Nostalgia, two Hierophant and two Four of Wands for many, many, many of my Capricorns. Give me a love card. Give me a love card. Capricorn. Capricorn. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. As some of you, you do know who this is over here. Clearing some energy over here, though, no doubt about that. Ooh, passion and past life lover. Make the upper. Great loves are taking the steps. Guided to take. Absolutely gorgeous. Capricorn. Got a powerful 4 one story right here for somebody. Let's go. Let's go. A couple of major arcana on here. Capricorn. Oh, the, this is a, this is a magician. Um, this is the number one card. Has all four aces with that one right there. The Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, uh, Ace of Pentacles, and the Ace of uh, uh, Earth. Uh, this is my Manifester. It's also a Mercury. It could be a communication card over here. Oh. Give me more. Give me more. Tell me about the magician. This is my this is my manifester. As above, so below. And then I got some uh, I got some movement right here. A chariot. A chariot. It's a big cancer major arcana. It's like, uh, you know, somebody's getting in their chariot around here to bust a move and to say hi to somebody that's, I don't know, pretty special to them. Cappy, hope you enjoyed that reading right there, my friend, huh? Powerful, powerful, my friend. Definitely uh, mirrored last week's, too, if you want to 
take a look at Capricorns last week. But anyway, if you made it to this part of the reading, Capricorn, thank you so very much for your view. Appreciate it so very, very much. You know I do. Hopefully I've earned your subscription as one of your tarot readers. If I have, smash that subscription button right there. I'll cap your cap, ring my bell, hit that old I like Mike button. And um, I'm hoping to see many, many, many of you on uh, Sunday, June 23rd. But I will pull you some cards in the next couple of days because I see a chariot bringing some star babies together around here. All my love, Cappy. Love and light. Bye for now.